there, it's your girl, Umpo to Aquera, aka M to the K to the A to the Y. It's your girl, MK. Good to be here. First of all, happy Mother's Day! <laughs> How does it feel to be a mom? Ha happy? Fulfilled? Sad? Worried? Don't worry, it's okay. It's okay. At first, you don't let that sad feeling or worried feeling to linger for so long. But I want to let you know that those feelings are normal, okay? So I did I, I did a thing, you know, with my mom friends. I told them to to talk about their motherhood experience motherhood experiences and the, the lessons they've learned in the journey so far. And you know, some advice for mothers out there, prospective mom, new mom. Trust me, it was really edifying to watch and listen to them talk. It made me feel that I'm not alone in this. I mean, so many things are said is what I could relate to. So I implore you guys, don't click away, watch to the very end. I trust that you're going to learn a thing or two. Trust me. I'm not even lying, I'm not capping. So please stay to the end. Don't click away. And I promise you're going to thank me at the end of this video. Okay? So let's dive in. Mm. You see, motherhood as a blessing, you know, first things first. I mean, the gift of a child is a blessing from God. So there's just this sense of fulfillment that comes with motherhood. I mean, you get to look at your children and you're like, wow. Look at what I made. Look at the life I brought to this world. Like it's it's a wild feeling, I must say. Motherhood has been interesting, a super amazing journey. Motherhood has been a beautiful journey. Has been all joy, happiness, selflessness, responsibility, and so much more. Motherhood is a game changer. Personally, for me, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. Some days I wake up happy, some days I wake up sad. I see motherhood as an opportunity. I see motherhood as a privilege that I don't take for granted at all. I'm thankful every day that God has counted me worthy to be a mother. I see motherhood as a blessing. It is tasking, it is challenging, it is sacrificial, it is stressful, but in all of it, it's all good. And I thank God for it. I wouldn't say it has been an easy journey however thank god for god and super amazing people because i think i have been clueless i think i still am i'm so sorry i'm proud to say it yes no one taught me what to do you know but i'm learning in the process and like i said it's been a super amazing journey one that i would love to do over again i would not say over and over again mm -mm over again you don't do <laughs> yeah, motherhood has been a blessing um it's a privilege from god to me to you know be able to um parent those little ones uh, which i do not i do not take it for granted at all yeah motherhood is a ministry i call it a ministry i call it a school that never ever ends you know we learn every day <laughs> in this motherhood journey however however motherhood can be really overwhelming I'm, I'm not gonna lie it can be draining you know it's just a roller coaster of you know emotion but it's 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 been awesome i personally i see motherhood as a priceless gift that god has given to us as women uh, to nurture and mentor the next generation on his behalf Therefore, I do it with all, so, with all amount of joy and happiness. How motherhood has been with me. Wow. I would say bittersweet. Emphasis on sweet though. I mean, because no matter what we go through as mothers, we cannot and we will not trade our children for anything or trade the experience for anything. Motherhood has been a roller coaster for me. It's been good. It's been fun. It's been crazy. It's been... Oh, but I mean... God's been faithful. Motherhood has been a roller coaster of so many things. Like so many things. Like it's been happy. There've been happy times. There've been sad times. There've been crying or 
and stress, excited, proud, glad. It's just been a roller coaster of different mixed feelings generally. But it's been fun, fun, and I love, 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 love being a mom. So I can say motherhood has been interesting. Very interesting. Motherhood is not a journey for the faint hearted. Mm -mm. If you don't get mind, no enter. It's been a roller coaster full of emotions. Today you're so excited, tomorrow you're so angry, next minute you're frustrated, you are yelling, and I mean. Motherhood has been wonderful. Well, then let's not sugarcoat it so much. <laughs> it's, it has been a bittersweet experience. Not really bitter, more like sweet and sour. And um, it's been a very life changing, wonderful experience for me. So far, one lesson that I've learned um, is to trust my guts. No one thing works for two people. Shut your ears against different advices, so many advices, you know. Else, in the end, you just get confused and you don't even know what you're doing. You become so depressed along the way. Personally, I think children, babies teach us how to take care of them. They teach us how to be better moms every day. Yes, I have learned that there is no award for the most stressed mother. Leave that thing. Keep it. Go and lie down. Rest as a mother. That is it. There's no award for the most stressed mother. That is what I've learned. So I can't kill myself by myself. One of the best so far has been patience. Hmm. My God, you just need to put on your armor of patience, soak it in, and be ready for the <laughs> for it ahead because you're going to be tested. Your patience is going to be stretched to the extreme. Are you prepared? Are you ready? Uh, one of my greatest lessons is that you should never underestimate yourself on how much you can go in taking care of or nurturing your your children. Because you can put all the sacrifice, you can say, I, I cannot go, I cannot go this far, but you can never tell. But with, by God's grace, I've seen that work so much in my life, and I really give him all the glory for his help. The lesson I've learned so far in motherhood is that, is to learn to lean on God. Sincerely, I, I, this video will be very much about God, because sincerely, I, I couldn't have made it this far without God. So it's to learn to lean heavily on God. Let's just have his way in your children's life and also i've learned to be calm just to take things easy i mean i can't do everything i can't be everywhere with the children the lessons i've learned from this journey so far has been love like i never imagined i would love so much someone so much at i just at first sight like the moment she was placed in my arms, in my hands, like I loved her so much. And since then, it's been nothing but love. Like my love has been growing on a daily basis. That would be strength. I mean, women are naturally strong, yeah. But you see, motherhood, <laughs> motherhood would bring out the, the the inner muscle and strength in you. Yeah? And motherhood has taught me hard work. I'm not saying I used to be lazy, but then being versatile. <laughs> I can do 100 things one time. I can be here, I can be there, I can be here, I can be there. So it has taught me um, patience. That it has taught me time management. If you're not going to manage your time well, how, how you want it to um <laughs> I've become everything. Mommy, nanny, cook, nurse, barber, fashion designer, hairstylist, just name them. Things you never imagined you could do. You're doing them. I've learned so much, so much. Motherhood has taught me um, you know, to be compassionate. It has taught me em empathy. I'm really, really, now I'm really empathetic. It has taught me how to be very strong. Yes, I have. I did. When I had my first, that one was the most obvious one. I think the other two were really not so obvious, but the first, hmm, my God, it almost. It almost, almost, almost did ruin my, my marriage. But to God be the glory, I, I have a mom that reached out to me. My husband's mother, uh, you know, his godmom, reached out to me and 
told me and taught me on how to go about it so we are always praying affirming words of affirmation you know constantly praying constantly reading the scripture being reminded of who i am because it's huh, hey it is it is crazy it is not of god at all because that thing is a home wrecker i know of so many women that postpartum depression um, has wrecked their home like it's crazy so if any woman out there is struggling with um postpartum depression just go to the lord in prayer pray and cry out for help because truly he's there and very much i believe able to help you and he will overcome it and it will be a testament than anything of the past nah i enter him i don't know if i enter him i come from him i don't know if i don't come from him yeah ask me how did you know i've not had a case of depression that is on god and i am a vocal person Anything that is that needs to be said has to be said. Not all the time, though. But you know, wisdom is from being able to direct. You get it. I had mental breakdowns, and um, yes, I did go through postpartum depression, but it was for a short period of time because I had a very encouraging partner, and he was very supportive. Well, I had I had postpartum depression. Um, I, I have a video about this you might want to check it out how I overcame I spoke with people you know older moms they encouraged me that um, I was not alone you know it's one thing to realize that you have postpartum depression um, and you seek for help you talk to people it's another thing to receive the help you know a lot of us We'll just probably seek for help and when the one we, we, when help comes we withdraw we do not receive so i i sought for help i received it and he helped me i also prayed to god and god helped me through it all the joy of the lord was my strength dealing with postpartum depression can be very depressing but you just know that you're not alone it's not peculiar to any woman it's not unique to any group it's not unique to any woman it happens to even the best of us what matters is mental capacity and support so in your postpartum period do not do not refuse help do not refuse assistance seek help as much as you can i had first hand experience that first month after i had my baby i fell into depression like i was crying always I, I was overwhelmed. I, you know, as much as I had so much support, my husband was there for me. Yeah. More or less, women who they don't have that support system still, yet, I can imagine what they they are going through or they've gone through. So all you can do to help, women need all the help. Mothers, especially young mothers, they need all the help they can get. They need it. Help them in everywhere you can. Do not lose yourself in the process trying to cater for the kids and then you don't even know that you know you're losing out on, on the phone out there. You don't know that you're 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 losing yourself in the process. You know, just enjoy it at the same time. Take care of yourself. Do something special for yourself. You used to be that there's a part of you that you know might just you might just end up losing if you do not um um if you do not watch it new moms ask questions new moms ask for help new moms you cannot do it on your own you cannot don't even try it all, all this year i'm a woman i can i mean yeah we all have that strength but you need to ask for help you cannot do it on your own ask 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 for help don't be shy about that to those mothers you're doing great keep on keep up the good work keep on doing good keep on keep pushing it's not it's never easy and i don't think it's going to be easy or there'll be uh there's a face that you know you don't have to do your mother you know motherly duties or mother duties keep at it you're doing well you are doing well be proud of yourself be proud of yourself take things easy take things easy your child your children will be fine it will turn out well don't be too worried don't be pressured so there will be so many people coming with plenty of advices of course out of a good heart i mean they have the best intentions but sincerely it can be overwhelming so my advice is just learn to take things easy and you don't have to take all of the advice you can do it 
you you would you would skill through because um, I, I don't know who said this saying but most I, I read it somewhere that it says it's not how much you made in life it's how well you raised your child I don't know if, if that's correct but I can do it and God will help you yeah oh we with, with your co-mothers or your co-wives and mothers around the world are rooting for you that you can do it and they're here for you Learn to have a lot of me times when you can unwind and let go of some stress and face the day again with a new energy. So that would be take it easy on yourself. Trust me, you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. You're gonna go through a lot of scary emotions. Like you're gonna feel you're not good enough. Like, am I doing the right thing? Am I a good mother? You're gonna doubt yourself a lot, question yourself a lot. But one thing you need to know is that, yes, you're doing well. Advice mothers, stay alive. I repeat, stay alive. Take care of yourself. Prioritize you. Your children will be fine. If you die, your children will survive. Stay alive as a mother. Because what shall it profit you if after all the sacrifice, the pain, the cry, you die? And then your children will have nobody to call mother. You know they will have somebody to come on that, but you get what I mean. Encourage yourself. Just find a way to release emotions, release tension, whatever works for you. Yeah, just go ahead and do it. It doesn't get any easier. Don't think it will get any easier. No, it doesn't get any easier. But what I can tell you is that it does get better. So just take it easy and keep moving, keep going. You're a good mom. Tell yourself, I'm a good mom. For every mother out there. Never compare yourself with another woman's progress and don't let negative words get to you. Be prepared. You have to be very, very prepared. You have to be prepared physically, financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. Be prepared. You just have to be prepared. You cannot do this on your own. You need to equip yourself with your family, your husband or your village or whoever is going on this journey with you because you know as they say it takes a village to raise children indeed it does the best advice i can give you from my experience is that you can be the best mom you did not have and you can be the best mom ever the best mom you did not have the best mom you dream to be the best mom you can be all you need to do is to put in the commitment trust me and believe in now commit all all you have to do and all you are doing to him and maybe he will help you with that right too. The perspective moms, hey Jesus, you have to be ready. You have to be ready mentally, emotionally for motherhood. You have to ask yourself, am I ready? And answer that sincerely. If you're not, please don't dive into it. No one is beating you with cane that you have to become a mother. You have to be ready. And secondly, is your spouse ready? Is This is not only about you. You can be ready, you know, for motherhood. But is your spouse ready? You have to ask. Is he ready? Because if you're ready and he's not ready, hey, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be challenging. Even the Bible says, can two work together except they agree. So your spouse has to be ready. Then you moms, take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time. Ask for help when necessary. You can't do everything on your own. Don't think you are. You see, you don't need to prove to anyone that you are a superwoman. I mean, you brought a human being to, 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 to the world. That's superwomanly enough. So there is no need to prove to anyone. Ask for help. Um, a word of encouragement for all mothers out there is, I see you. You are a super duper superwoman. I mean, not all superheroes wear capes, okay? We are super moms and you're doing an, an excellent job. Like you're doing a fabulous job. Keep up the good work and do not think you're less of a mom, okay? Because you're the best. You're the best version of a mother for your children. And the ultimate advice is you should know, you should anchor on God. That is the only place, that is the only one who can give you all the energy, all the hope and everything. So once you place your anchor and trust in God, believe me, you, it will be, I'm not saying it will just be easy, but it will be easier. The body will be lighter. So cast all of your problems. When you feel so tired and frustrated, and just talk to God, say, God, refill me, and it will give you so much energy. 
sometime last week i had to pamper myself i made white soup for myself you know because i just felt like i was ah, it's always baby daniel 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 what about me you know if it's just for me someone should make it for me now <laughs> and if it's supposed to be special i mean someone should prepare it for me right so i don't think i have cooked anything special just for myself i'm hoping my husband is watching this video to surprise me and prepare something special for me just for me it will make me feel really oh my god it was two weeks ago i prepared pepper gizzard jesus it was my craving like i sat down like this jelly consumed it and i used pepsi no there's no pepsi yet i use coke to down it yes the lord is good hallelujah no no let me just use this medium and say jesus oh god there are so many people out there looking for the fruit of the womb please bless them with one but you see me hmm? i have touched that's me dodging i jump and pass no 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 no. you see the tooth that you've given me i am happy i am grateful thank you but please pass me by this time hmm? heck to the no oh 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 no 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 well i see cute babies I don't say my ovaries, I say my ex ovaries. Yeah, that is how serious I am. We are done having kids. I mean, these three, they're just perfect. I mean, what do you want? This is a trinity. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I don't have decision concerning that yet. I believe that time will tell. I am not always so anxious about the future. I love the future to unveil himself and enjoy the moment as he goes. So let's wait and see if a next baby will come god knows best that's my answer yeah god knows best it does whether i'm having another child or i'm done it's only god that knows wherever it takes us we follow <laughs> so any more kids come in obviously maybe in the long future as god leads us we could adopt but for my loins no 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 we are done i had all my three kids via c-section i mean <laughs> Oh, if you're a CS mom, shout out to you because you know what that means. I mean, and I had them like back to back to back. So we're done having kids and we're releasing all the fertility in, inside of us, inside of me and my husband, to all the moms out there that are trusting God for children. So we pray and we believe with you with faith that this year will not pass you by. God shall reward you bless you with kids children over and over and many 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 more children as you desire as you wish as you want in the name of our lord jesus christ amen so yes i'd like to have another child i jump and pass i jump and pass no i'm very content with this two two beautiful children god has blessed me with so nah of course they call me mommy of course mommy how should i feel Mommy in the morning, mommy in the noon, mommy in the midnight, mommy every day. Well, my kids call me mommy or mom or sometimes by my name when they just want to, you know, my first son, when he just wants to joke around, he calls me Joan. <clears throat> and sometimes he calls me Inem. <laughs> calls me mommy, sometimes he calls me, um, babe, can you imagine that dude? <laughs> He takes after his father and sometimes he comes he calls me uk you know sometimes the dad calls me uk or when his grandma calls me you can mommy 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 he doesn't say mommy nanny he calls me nanny and i'm like hey you so i'll be best with mama <laughs> you know it can get really really interesting he calls me <laughs> or she calls mommy mk mommy mk any which one daughter calls me mommy but it's very interesting to hear them call me mommy because i mean i'm their mommy and it's so cute whenever they need anything whenever they want my attention they just go my mommy yeah i'm going about uk uk it makes me feel good like sometimes i get to laugh, especially when he calls me babe i get to laugh and laugh a lot it, it makes me feel good i'm not even gonna lie of course, it's a nice feeling when they're around mommy, you know, not that mommy, 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 mommy
this mom it, and it makes me feel happy it makes me feel proud sometimes they call it plenty times i'm like what i'm always very happy when she calls me it brings a reminder that yeah i have someone who is looking up to me i have someone that i'm nurturing and i have someone who god has blessed me with each time she calls me Mommy. Always, I always feel so good hearing her call me that. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to every mother out there. Mama, say Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day to all moms out there. You are doing an awesome job. Kudos to you. Well done. Happy Mother's Day! You are doing well. This Mother's Day, do something sweet for yourself. Happy Mother's Day. You are loved. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, upcoming mothers, dreaming to be mothers that you can do it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers in the world. You are our hero. Your kids are happy and lucky to have you. And um, well done. You know, I used to think that and our hearts couldn't expand to love many many more but as they kept coming the love for every, each and every one of them just kept you know expanding and i'm like so as a mom something we can do we can obviously show love to everybody so keep being you and keep being lovable happy mother's day bye happy mother's day to all the beautiful beautiful moms out there you're doing a great job keep at it and god bless you